Uh, call Claire Hawkey to be followed by Johan Lamont. Thank you, Presiding Officer. And I remind colleagues of my entry in the Register of Members' Interests as a member of Unison. And I congratulate Rona Mackay on securing this important debate. And I too would like to pay tribute to my colleague uh, MP for Glasgow South, Stuart MacDonald, for his terrific work in his campaign to scrap unpaid trial shifts. Presiding Officer, as a committed trade unionist, I've passionately fought against discrimination and unfair work practices throughout the whole of my professional life. I was proud to be a divisional convener in my workplace for Unison, the trade union I'm still a member of today. And as an MSP, I've continued to be an advocate for the rights of workers, using my first speech to criticise the pernicious Tory Trade Union Act and having the privilege to chair the SNP Holyrood Trade Union Group. It comes as a real source of frustration that when we are made aware of issues like those, the use of unpaid trial shifts, that we cannot legislatively do anything here in our parliament due to employment law still being reserved to Westminster. The blocking of these powers by opposition parties during the Smith Commission has proven to be a significant miscalculation. However, that's an argument for another day. Stuart Macdonald's private members bills has the backing of MPs from all parties and it's absolutely vital that they turn up in their numbers and vote for its progression on the 16th of March. Presiding officer, most people do not object to trial periods being offered by employers as they are of course a legitimate way to assess a candidate's skills and suitability. But it's at this point that I have to disagree with Dean Lockhart that any work trial should be paid. And I would like to know from Mr Lockhart how long he would continue in a work trial before he would expect to be paid. Would he like to advise the chamber? No. Similarly, they give an individual an opportunity to assess if a workplace suits them. However, what is objectionable is the fact that this occurs unpaid. Most of us will be aware of the example of the tea firm Mubu, who were found to be asking trainees to work for a full 40 hours for free. A full week's work, yet not a single penny in pay. Rightly, there was widespread condemnation of the company, with a petition signed by more than 40,000 people urging them to drop their policy, which thankfully they agreed to do. Since launching his bill, Stuart MacDonald has also heard from people who suspect that some businesses are even using unpaid trial shifts to plug staffing shortages with no intention of ever offering an applicant the job. This cannot be right and it should not be legal. If someone is required to work a trial period before securing a position, no matter whether they are offered the job at the end of it or not, they should be paid for doing so. Monica Lennon. I'm grateful to Claire Hockey for, for giving way. It was just on the point of, I, mean, I fully support um, Stuart MacDonald's uh, bill and I wish him every success in, in, in the House of Commons with that. Um, I've had someone in Hamilton who was in Glasgow for an interview, was asked to stay on, ended up for a couple of hours until her dad came in and, and dragged her home and said, you're not working here. Does Claire Hockey agree there's something we could do in terms of um, local authority licensing rules? Because it seems to be in hospitality that is really prevalent and we've got young people going into these hotels and bars and so on. Is there more we can do with the powers that we have to try and address this at a local level? Claire Hockey. Certainly I would support any uh, strengthening of employment laws in Scotland to protect particularly vulnerable young people who can be exploited in such positions. Stuart Macdonald's own research showed that over 55% of people either had or knew someone who had been offered an unpaid work trial, whilst the study as referenced by uh, Rona Mackay earlier by Middlesex University, published last year, estimated that £1.2 billion in wages remains unpaid in Britain each year, and unpaid work trials contribute to this figure. Unpaid trial shifts are clearly a prevalent practice. They are demeaning and exploitative and legislation is therefore required to offer people better protection in the workplace. Presiding officer, it's disappointing that no Conservative MSP has yet signed Rona Mackay's motion, which is surprising considering Theresa May insists they are the party of workers. So today I urge them to lobby Ms. their Hawkins counterparts at Westminster to support the bill. With Brexit on the horizon, many of our workers' rights could soon be eroded. So it's refreshing to see a bill introduced that would extend our protections and not cut them. During my first speech in this parliament, I said that fairness means access to fair work for fair pay. And I fully stand by those remarks. No one should be deprived of a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. And that's why I fully support the bill to ban unpaid trial shifts. 